as you can see, Ryan is a heartfelt leader. He cares so much about our values, about who we are and how we do our business. At Caldwell Banker, we've earned our reputation over decades. People across the world know us and trust us today, and they have for over a century. And that is thanks to every single person who carries the Caldwell Banker flag. The public's trust in us is based on who you are, how you treat people, and the value you bring to them every day. We are a leader in ethical conduct. We've been designated by Ethisphere as one of the world's most ethical companies for the ninth year in a row. That's something we should all be really proud of. As people today are facing a major amount of uncertainty, they are making really careful choices and they are choosing quality and people they can trust. They're choosing us. Today, we are being called to rise to the occasion and be the absolute best that we can each be. As Chief Operating Officer of Caldwell Banker, I have access to our entire network of brokers and agents around the world. And as soon as we started seeing the impact of COVID-19, we put our emergency response capabilities into action. We were super impressed with the positivity of our European leaders like Raffaella Pace. She's the marketing director of Cobble Banker Italy. Raffaella took the opportunity to focus our agents' daily lives on world-class products, increased interaction and training, so that when the time came, they'd be immediately prepared to support our clients far and above our competitors. Across the world, helping our agents to live exceptional lives, it's our common commitment. And I was impressed that we were able to keep our agents fully engaged and supported, even on our most challenging days. One of our leaders who greatly impressed us from the outset is Laurent Demure. He is president and CEO of Cobble Banker France and Monaco. He told us to seize the disruption, to use the time to manage the future, to encourage everyone to create the company they envision. And so we did. While others may have merely reacted, we reinvented ways to partner with our brokers and agents to support their business, pivoting to offerings that would keep everyone engaged and feeling positive. At all times, we help agents and brokers build a strong and profitable business in a way that is supportive. We really are a company that inspires pride. During COVID, we kicked off programming, which included public expos about how to conduct real estate business virtually covering everything from marketing listings to hosting virtual showings, open houses, and closings. We all focused on how to make the use of an abundance of shelter-in-place time. And Ryan seized the moment. He kept the public informed on rapidly developing market intelligence. While our agents were sheltered in place, the attendance on our product calls increased by 244%. 244%. Our agents embrace the opportunity to invest the time in growing their skills. They are dedicated professionals. There are simply no better agents than Caldwell Banker agents. The best in any business surround themselves with exceptional people. So following a sold out in-person growth event in February, if you even remember in-person events, we created more virtual recruiting events this year. We included leaders from our own brokerage, like Chief Recruiting Officer Peter Sobeck. Peter, just like the hundreds of proud Cobble Banker broker owners across the globe, recruits from his heart with a proven formula and by highlighting the Cobble Banker product set. Cobble Banker provides the tools and resources that our competitors dream about. We've also been busy at Cobble Banker University this year, offering nearly 100 classes and having over 10,000 agents attending our courses, like our very successful AMP class. AMP has a proven track record for increasing agent productivity by 30%. More productivity means more money for our agents, and I am pretty sure that they like that. I've also heard a ton of positive feedback on our new Virtual Wealth Builder Expo series, which helps our agents focus on their own financial future. It's led by renowned personal finance coaches from the Dave Ramsey Group. Tomorrow, Dave himself will be conducting a breakout session at JenBlue. This resilience that exists in Cobble Banker in all of us was fully lived during 2020, and it was highlighted in an Inman article. In it, we identified the business support we provided to your agents and brokers this year and recognized our truly strong sense of Cobble Banker community. If you are part of us, you know that our network's culture is rooted in helping each other. Conversations flourished among our network this year, initially about how to survive and then how to thrive. We saw masterminds driven by broker owners and our own brokerage leaders offering best practice sharing for our 90,000 plus agents and several hundred broker owners across the globe. At the same time, we kept ideas flowing with discussions led by our network stars, 
like Lori and Josh Arnold of Cobble Banker Apex, Sue Yannacone of Cobble Banker Realty, Mike Grady of Cobble Banker Bain, and Leslie McKenzie of Cobble Banker Hickok and Borman. Other bright lights in our network, like Bernice Hellman of Cobble Banker Hellman, powered on with our logo rebrand mid crisis, dropping kits at agent homes and celebrating together with her team virtually. The good news didn't stop there. We're well known for supporting our communities. With our Hometown Heroes campaigns and Home for Dog projects, there's a lot to see. If you've not yet checked out hashtag CBGoodNews, I recommend it. It shows the true colors of Cobble Banker and our love and support for local communities. Clearly, 2020 accomplishments thus far are worthy of our deepest gratitude and could be our entire focus today. But we are also here to celebrate Cobble Banker's outstanding performance in 2019. The Real Trends 2019 list identified our own brokerage and thereby the entire powerhouse leadership team of Cobble Banker Realty as the largest broker in volume across the entire United States. In all 37 Cobble Banker companies qualified for the list by volume. And looking across at our individual agent and team award winners for 2019, who we are celebrating today, our network has outstanding people driving all of us to aim even higher. I'm clearly inspired by our agents. I am also inspired by Ryan's commitment to nurturing an inclusive company. As you know, Cobble Banker welcomes all races, ethnicities, genders, and preferences, and ages in real estate. We proudly started this year by launching our own inclusive ownership program. We wanted to expand our network and give people new ways to enhance their business opportunities. Speaking of, a very warm welcome to our three newest brokerages, Cobble Banker Omni Group in Santa Ana, California, Cobble Banker Action Holdings in Grand Island, Nebraska, and Cobble Banker Commercial Northland in Flagstaff, Arizona. Our focus on inclusion began well before the world turned a renewed focus to issues of civil justice. We know that being inclusive of everyone, it goes beyond just being diverse. We stand for fairness and equality, for understanding and for celebration. And we showed that this year during our virtual pride parade. It was co-hosted by Ryan with inspirational stories from Cobble Banker agents. Our own Jamie Zapata of Cobble Banker, Deanne Harper, wears the crown for the Pinnacle Award, and it's impossible to imagine her worthy successor or anyone who brings Cobble Banker so much pride. Looking forward, September to October 15th is the time to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. So be on the lookout for events highlighting our Latino agents and brokers, including our participation in Latitude. We are focused on inclusiveness in our own operations too. As Ryan and Roderick mentioned, we're advised by employee resource groups and diversity inclusion councils. I truly enjoy our leadership team, which includes many talented women. Women like Kate Rossi and Sue Yannacone, Tanya Rue Nervaez, Anna Vizioli, Ashley Dembowski, Lindsay Lestansky and Tori Keshenjay, Casey Ricker, Jan Loomis, Kate McMurdo, I could go on. Each of these women adds so much to our team. And we serve among the equally talented men of Caldwell Banker, who you know and love, like Ryan, Greg Macris, David Marine, Mike Fisher, Chris Clark, our relatively new leader of Caldwell Banker commercial, Dan Spiegel, and our absolute king of global luxury, Craig Hogan. This Caldwell Banker team gives their all every day. I'm so super proud of the way we pulled together during COVID and reinvented the way we work to serve all of you. Together, we are proud that Fortune Magazine continues to notice us, naming our parent company, boldly led by Ryan Schneider, as one of the best companies to work for for the sixth consecutive year. You may have heard about another point of pride. Caldwell Banker earned the Women's Choice Award for the third year in a row. That means nine out of 10 women recommend Caldwell Banker as their real estate agency of choice. When home buyers and sellers are looking for a real estate company, the women's choice seal on an agent and company set of marketing materials represents a huge show of confidence from women. We also support the women professionals in our network with our speaker series, What Moves Her. Our leaders like Pauline Bennett focus extensively on developing those around them. And we certainly support the building and budding important voices of powerful women like Samantha Diaz, just Sam, who's here with us today. She's here to help celebrate our awesomeness, and she represents those among us who have found our strength to speak a little more loudly with just a little bit of encouragement from a network that welcomed us. In this chapter of Cobble Banker's history, we expect to expand our network and give the people who inspire us every day new ways to grow their business with us. 
As to our immediate future, I've been personally connecting with the leaders of our network, like Tim Milam of the Advantage family of companies in North Carolina, Joe King of Cobble Banker Realty and Ron Sweeney of Cobble Banker Heritage, who are both in Ohio, Steve Houle of Cobble Banker Island Properties in Hawaii. Oof, these companies, they are tending to their people and their communities. They're recruiting like mad, and they are creating tremendous success in their business. Big numbers, the likes of which I wish for each and every one of you. It's remarkable what we've accomplished over the course of time at Cobble Banker, and particularly during 2020. Business as usual is boring. Together, we've built immunity to business challenges, and I'm proud to be here on this team. If you are part of us, thank you. If you're not yet, I do hope you'll consider it. Join the brand where you will be seen and appreciated. Speaking of, let's turn our attention to the award winners among us. Mike and Lindsay, we are all ears.